I'm not giving up on installing Windows 7 on this stupid modern computer. So I've got a Reddit tutorial right here. Unfortunately, it's just a whole bunch of text. It said, uh, first of all, to write a Windows 8.1 or 10 or 11 ISO into your USB stick. So here I have a Windows 10 ISO, so that's cool. And I have a Windows 7 one, which is Ult Windows 7 Ultimate Service Pack 1 uh, x64. Then it said to replace a specific file with that file, but from Windows 7. So first of all, we're just going to plug the USB key in. So sources and uh, where's install.wim. There it is, and uh, then we're gonna have to replace it with that one, but from Windows 7, sure. What if I just uh, burn that uh, ISO file into another USB key, like the Windows 7 ISO, so that it's easier to access this uh, whole boot.wim file or install.wim, I don't know. Here we are on Rufus, uh, let's just go to MBR, and uh, I don't know if it should be U5 or MBR, so then we'll just go click on start immediately. Another program! Is that accessing this drive? Is it? I don't think so. So yeah, we'll just burn it. While we're at it, we'll let's just get that uh, stupid uh, updated acpi.sys file. So we'll just click on this zip file. It's gonna get downloaded. Hit enter. We'll go to our files. Downloads. We'll extract all. Oh, sure. There we have our acpi.sys. So the Windows 7 uh, got burnt into that uh, USB key so now if we theoretically go there then we're supposed to be seeing all this kind of stuff so sources we should get our install.wim oh what okay so maybe I'll just copy this and paste it to the desktop we'll see how that goes I don't know if I'm gonna have to use the Windows 7 uh, image updater paste shortcut uh what Whoa, the WIM file. Oh, wow. I didn't know the WIM file was this big. So, uh, again, I said copy, not copy as path. Just copy the file. Don't let me paste the shortcut. Okay, so we got our copy to desktop. And uh, so far, it's copying it without asking for any permissions. Thankfully, this is an SSD. Okay, so the install.wim file is copied to the desktop. It should replace the one in that uh, Windows 10 USB. So I'll just unplug this one, move on to that one. And uh, here we are, we'll go to sources. Now I should theoretically just get that install.wim file. So I'll just cut it and then paste it over here. Right, I've just right clicked. Oh my days, it's crashing. That's just beautiful. Now we should paste, right? Replace. Replace, yes. Okay, so it's gonna take a very long time. Now I guess you should copy the modified acpi.sys just to the root of the USB stick. So, we can go to downloads. So, uh, we'll go to acpi.sys. We'll copy. I'm not gonna cut. Let's just copy. And go to the root of the USB stick, right? Again, just to the root of the USB stick. Just to the root. Is there any other previous instructions? Now it's time to boot from the USB stick. If I can already like get through the setup without any ACPI errors, then that's cool. Don't know if I'm gonna have to use an updated Windows 7 ISO through that Windows 7 image updater. So we'll spam the F2 key to enter our BIOS. There you are, generic flash disk, so now we can Raise that up to the skies as the skies go to the generic flash disk. I'm not exactly hopeful. It's gonna be showing us this dash. Are you serious? Can you get anywhere further than a stupid dash? Okay, so we get a Windows 10 logo so far. At least no ACPI.sys error, so... Okay, we'll see if that leads us to a Windows 7. Okay, so this is a good sign, I guess. Install now. <laughs> I didn't partition the hard disk yet, so I should probably partition, but I'm just trying to check how the USB key is, at least booting from it is like. So this is a Windows 10 installer, and I'm assuming it's gonna download Windows 7, right? I don't have a product key, we'll say. Windows 7, oh, there you go, now we have a bunch of Windows 7, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so I accept. Upgrade, install Windows only. Um, can I partition? No. Show details. The, the selected disk is of the GPT. Here we are on our uh, disk management and we're gonna right click on the main one and shrink volume. Okay, so uh, size of available shrink space. Enter the amount of space to shrink is the, what the heck. I don't know how much I'm gonna allocate for this Windows 7. Let's do 80 gigabytes and shrink. I am uh, probably not the best at partitioning even though it sounds like a simple task. 
And there you go, you have your 78.13 gigabytes of unallocated space. Let's get back our USB key. Now we can restart again. Okay, now it's time to get that generic flash disk upstairs. F10, exit. We'll see if it detects our wonderful new partition. Ultimate. I want ultimate. I accept. Next, because of GPT partition style, sure. Okay, so let me overwrite, so wait, all. Okay, QWERTY keyboard. Being <laughs> easier to be keyboard being registered as a QWERTY. All, uh, and then sh should be good, right? Now we can exit the setup and try to boot into Windows, right? I sound so nervous, it's actually ridiculous. Starting Windows. Starting Windows. <gasps> the animation is actually starting. Setup is updating registry settings. I guess, I guess this might be it. I guess this might be it. I think we might be actually be able to be running Windows 7. <gasps> Setup is starting services. <gasps> Completing installation. Okay, the mouse doesn't work. So, okay, so. Okay, so uh, the mouth doesn't work. We'll try to get an external one. It's fine. It's fine Right as we wait. For, oh, oh, oh Okay, so that was quite the graphical glitches, but we're good as we wait for it just gonna get our USB mouse. We're completing exhalation boys. I Set up with continue after restarting your computer. It's getting exciting. It's getting exciting Okay, okay Starting Windows, please don't work, just crash on me or something. <laughs> oh my days. Oh my days. Should I repeat that? Whatever the hell I did. Let's go to safe mode. Okay, so uh, I'm not, fu I didn't fully lose hope yet. I mean, I can always just uh, boot back into the USB key, so this isn't a problem. Okay, so generic flash disk goes up. F10, and now we're just gonna repeat the same process, right? All right, so I've clicked on Shift, Fn, and F10, all, and then now we have our command prompt. So now what we're gonna be doing is uh, typing disk part. Uh, disk part is not recognized as it. Right? Oh, shoot. Sure, and I'm assuming it's gonna be list disk, right? List disk. Select disk. Zero clean. Yeah, I really don't know if it's gonna just straight up format whatever the hell I have here Then we can click on convert MBR sure now we can exit now I should technically keep going back all the way to the product key section Sure install windows. On oh shoot, so it turns out I guess I just formatted everything but what's new? Oh, well, I mean, I've already formatted the whole thing, so apply. To ensure Windows might create, sure. We'll go to this partition too. And now it's installing Windows. Right. Okay, so I did this stuff again and uh, we're getting somewhere. <gasps> set, set up his chicken video performance. Oh my days. We're getting somewhere. <gasps> Windows 7 Ultimate. Oh my days, my mouse doesn't work. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, don't get too uh, stressed out. Uh, does the keyboard work? The keyboard works. Uh, wait, the mouse is gone, but if we plug an external one. Oh shoot. Well, uh, this mouse doesn't seem to work. So far, our keyboard is working, but our mouse doesn't seem to be. There's the mouse up there, but it's just not working. I mean, at least we can operate with the keyboard. We don't need this. Setup is finalizing your settings. How do you fix the mouse though? Okay, so Windows 7 is so far working. This is actually good. This is actually good. Preparing your desktop. Again, the mouse is not working. And there we have our desktop. We still can't quite get the mouse to work. What if we change the USB port? The mouse is still not working. But hey. At least we got somewhere, right? So uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you when uh, if I get uh, the mouse driver to work. So here I have a backup USB 
with a brand new Windows 7 file and the acpi.sys file that I've created using the Windows 7 image updater. It took me like probably roughly 7 hours or more, around 10 hours to just create using our Windows 7 image updater. It's always necessary to have backup, so we're just gonna eject this USB key. I know I'm fancy. We'll plug another USB key, we'll go to Rufus and select our uh, brand new ISO file that is in the desktop, so Windows 7 it is. Click open, standard Windows, uh, you, let's just do MBR for safety measures and NTFS, I think we're good. And we'll click on start. Contains a UEFI bootloader that have been revoked. I don't care, let's just go to okay. And then we'll wait for this to be done and then we'll shove the acpi.sys file into the root of the USB key just like we did. Okay, so the ISO file just got burnt into the USB and now what's left to do is to copy the acpi.sys file into the root of the USB. So control C, go to this and control V. Okay, 99% complete, don't ask me for any permissions. And there you go. So I guess we're good now. Always ejecting for safety measures even though I usually don't do that, but this should be crucial. Eject trans memory. Safe to remove hardware. You bet. Why did I eject it? Should put it back. There it is. So I believe we can now turn off the computer. Just restart it and then no restart, just restart. And I'm gonna be downgrading this, not updating it. Skadoosh, we're in the BIOS. Now we go to boot, click on F6, we got our Kyoxia upstairs. We Click on F10, then yes. Now for the moment of truth. Will at least the setup work normally? And here we have our Windows 10 boot logo. It told me again, press any key to boot from USB, and that's what I did, of course. Here we have our Windows 7 environment looking environment. Setup is starting. Just like uh, once I tried, of course, it won't work without a physical mouse i don't know why and here we have our mouse pointer so that's good keyboard does work so we'll change uh, the layout to french because i have an azure t next so we're gonna choose ultimate because ultimate who would choose home basic if you have the choice to get ultimate why would you choose home basic okay so system reserved can't be installed we'll format it i don't even know let's just uh, format this the main one again like usual we'll click ok now we'll just click on next now it's installing windows and we're gonna see if our command prompt madness that we did over there will work for this how about we don't boot from usb and go straight to windows 7. it's gonna give us our acpi dot three two one sure now we'll just go back to our usb and uh, do whatever the hell we did okay so so hold the shift fn and f10 at least we have our command prompt so that's dope disk let's see which ah it's the stupid qwerty keyboard on an azure t list vol exit click and just type all one file copied and now i believe we can leave the command prompt right now we can leave the installer click yes and we'll unplug the usb key we don't need that anymore technically, right? 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 Let's say Windows 7. Start Windows normally. We'll see about this, if it will even work. Okay, so here we have our little flying lead dots. So that's nice. Setup is updating registry settings. I'm just desperately hoping that the mouse would work. Like, please. <laughs> okay. Screen goes black, setup is starting services, and the mouse is moving! That's just nice. Perfect. So we'll just wait until this completing installation is finished. Setup will continue after restarting your computer. Now I believe that the acpi.sys uh, error will repeat itself, but I'm just gonna see. If it repeats itself, it's okay, we can always boot back from the USB. Okay, so the screen goes black. It turns on. Um... Starting Windows is going to give the acpi.sys error, right? There you go, as I guessed it. You bet I'm going to boot from USB. Back to the setup. Back to command prompt and we're going to do the exact same stuff. This part. List. Exit. Okay, so we'll write all and then enter and one file is copied. 
we can leave and we can leave the installer unplug the usb key and then we'll see for our epic moment of truth so uh start windows normally this is not asking between windows 10 and windows 7 at this point and we get our starting windows animation so there you go setup is preparing your computer for first use setup is checking video performance sure and our mouse is still working so that's just perfect we'll call this that click next type of password no thank you product key hmm uh, I guess we'll just skip the product key for now. I can't be bothered. Change the time. Go to coordinated universal time. Oh, you can see networks. I don't know if it's public or network. Let's just go public. I don't even know. Windows is finalizing your settings. I mean, it's good that it's uh, detected the network. It went in the previous uh, time, it didn't. So that's a good sign that the drivers must be there. After a long time of finalizing my settings, uh, hey, look, configuring Windows updates in Windows 7. Heh, <laughs> would you believe it? I mean, the ISO does integrate updates, so we'll just wait for our Windows update. Okay, shutting down. Sure thing. Okay, so we'll hope that it boots, at least, I guess. I mean, it should boot at this point. There's, there's no way there's gonna be an ACPI error. So we have our starting Windows. Oh, fabulous. And we have our generic animation. Let's see how much this will take to boot. On 4 gigabytes of RAM and an Intel Celeron N4000. Oh my days. Okay, so we're still uh, configuring Windows updates. Let's just wait. Welcome. Now, please let me see my desktop. I want to see if I can change the resolution already. So, what, and uh, if I can get Aero running. There you go. Okay, so the sound works. We'll go over here. So, max out. Sure. Network. Seems to be working. Now, let's go for our ultimate. Screen resolution. This should be our native screen resolution. Apply. And uh, keep changes. Okay, so the display driver works, I believe. Now we can go to personalize aero themes. Um, no aero action going on. So the reason that aero is not working on this laptop is because the graphics card, which is the UHD 600, does not even actually support Windows 7 in the first place and never did. So it just uses the standard VGA adapter and it doesn't support Windows aero. Video card driver doesn't support aero effects. Oh, well, that's just trash. We'll go to our Internet Explorer and see if the Wi-Fi actually works. And I believe our internet works, so that's a good thing. So we stop it to be appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.